<laughs> we are in Slide Rock, a little piece of heaven. And we're the only ones here. Well, a little further down the road, I mean, it's packed. Oh, yeah. But as soon as you just, you trek up a little, maybe 20 minutes from the entrance, you're here and you're all alone. In, uh, this must be sub-zero oh, degrees to be. water. Oh. oh, all right, let's see here. Oh. How bad is this? It's nice. Alright, we're going for it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm out. This, uh, this is just starting point for the day. We are going to drive and either do a hike or we're going to go through the Grand Canyon. We haven't quite decided yet. But seeing as we are, have now become Walmart RV parking lot dwelling people, <laughs> we needed a, a fresh shower. And this is how Walmart parking lot people shower in the morning. They go to the nearest fresh water source. Hold on, let me go up here on this rock. And then we can see. Only Geraldo and Luis, as far as the eye can see. Now, as we enter down there, I must admit, I was pretty disappointed with this place. We've done, you know, an amazing, two amazing hikes in two days. And I thought, wow, I was, I was not going to film and I was going to tell people not to come here. But as, as, as long as you trek 20 minutes through the canyon, I do recommend coming here. Whoa! Ooh, it is... Ah. <laughs> so it's slippery and cold. But fresh. Oh, 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 there's some big rocks here. I can't see much with my patriotic sunglasses, but you know, I value patriotism over eyesight or vision. Okay, let's load down here. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Woo. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <gasps> The treacherous trek back to safety has begun. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, but all right. <laughs> hey, Lou, come in. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Lou, come on, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just running some tests. Don't mind me. I'll catch you up. Okay. Oh, man. Already nearly broke my kneecaps there. Can you stop with your damn tests? Yeah. All right, let's uh, go. I have what I need. Okay. Uh, you good? That was not a joke, by the way. Yeah, I, re you really, I really just tanked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Uh, I feel like... Uh, Which one did you... Well, it's this one. Oh, but it's shit. good. It moves. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's continue. Uh. Fuck. How you doing? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> why are all the cool places so hard to get? I know. Oh, oh. Well, we know now why there's no one here. Oh, yeah. Huh. Sometimes you have to... Ten bucks says Louis is gonna fall. Ten? Make yeah. it twenty. Twenty. <laughs> oh wow, impressive. Alright. Nobody gonna fall for the entertainment value? Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Billy. <laughs> I think it's possible to go on top of this, I guess you call this a canyon, and look down. So let's. Let's give that a go. Once again, 
risking my health and life just to give you guys some angles and a better view. Yep, this is definitely climbable. Now is it descendable? We'll find out. I really am gonna have problem coming back down here, am I? Well, I made it. Am I filming? Yes, I am. Now, was it worth it? Trekking up here for this? I guess it was. Ah, I see. So you can you can continue up this path if you want to. I don't really want to though. I have to go back down. But I honestly do not know if it's possible to go down the way I came. Whoa! Because <laughs> I left my water bottle like halfway down the trek and I don't want to, you know... I'm not a polluter. Well, the things I do in slippers. If I wasn't wearing slippers, this wouldn't be so bad. It'd just be a leisurely little climb. Thank you you feel, are your eyes itchy and so on from that water? Yeah, they don't feel great. Hmm. I don't know, it's kind of achy and... Hopefully, hopefully it gets better. Yeah. River water, you'd think it'd be clean, but... Please use communication device provided, miss, if you want to communicate with the bag. Oh. This will go out the window. Calm down, miss. Calm down, miss. This is not the time for road rage, miss. <laughs> Come again, miss. Oh, I wasn't saying it. Inaudible. Please oh. use provided communication device. Over. Can I press the side? Yes. Oh, why is it working? It is working. It is working. It's working just fine. Oh, is it? Can you hear me now? What I'm doing there? Yeah. We hear you fine, yes. Oh, okay. Are we there yet? <laughs> I have no idea because I'm moving on. Are we there yet? I don't know because you won't let me look at the map. What about now? <laughs> hey! <laughs> don't make us come, but one of us come up there. <laughs> Lewis, go, go, and go and discipline her. <laughs> yeah, discipline. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near her with that. Oh, okay, okay. Jesus. We're a little afraid because. It may not look like it on, on camera, but she's actually the boss of this whole thing. <laughs> Without her, we wouldn't even have been able to hook up the water or electricity no. to the car yesterday. Contrary <laughs> to popular belief, I'm not a smart man. <laughs> I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> Louis tried to fix it and he said, this is not going to work. Then she came out and gave the hose one twist and it's like, oh, we got water. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Miss, this is not the correct way to discard with communication device. We are back in Flagstaff and I feel rough as toast. My lips are cracking up. My eyes are bloodshot and horrible. 
Uh, even though I had a just had a ribeye steak and we've been shopping at Target. Uh, yeah, day four and uh, already I feel like I'm going to be out of commission for a while. So I'm going to try and soldier through by uh, eating healthy for a change. Not that double whoopers aren't healthy, but uh, oh, you get what I mean. Shots everywhere. Are we doing shots? We're doing yes. shots. Shots of medicine. Yes. <laughs> wow. Finning four four, four, four days in and we're already, yeah. Degenerate. We're not made for that. Oh, we got ID on the Able to buy I got ID'd bag. on this. Yeah, yeah we They're got like, ID'd on this, but, not, but not this. Oh, he was like, you can buy a knife, whatever, but oh, you want it? You want to not be sick? Five inch cleaver, that's fine, but oh. um, makes sense. Obviously. All right, so Dayquil, severe cold and flu. Hold on, am I filming? Yes, I am. Uh, every video, every time. Yeah, but you remember when we didn't do that and we lost the best scene from the climb? That's true. That was you. Wait, that's what? Oh uh, yeah. No, we didn't lose the best scene. Yes, we did. We the Cleveland hotties. The woman, the women, and you will never see the Cleveland hotties because of Louis. So <laughs> thank you, Louis. Oh, they weren't that <laughs> hot. Come on now. They were all hotties. They Super hot. hot. You yeah, guys will never know. Anyway, we have some mighty mango. Not just mango, but the mighty mango. Oh, you do want a target haul? Yep, we have a 100% carrot. You see, 13 servings of veggies, and that's why I'll be the healthy one from now on, not Lewis. Um, and I have stocked up on. Uh, here's another one. Original, whatever. Vitamin C and zinc helps your immune system. Try to keep my 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 proteins. Uh, my protein intake somewhat respectable, and then we have a a uh, another can of not a can. Jesus, I can't even talk. Come on, this one to fix the lips. So okay, we're good to go. Wherever we are going to go, we, have, we actually do not know where we're going to go today. We're going to wing it. But first, we are going to Walmart. We are. Yeah. Because, because oh, we're Walmart people. Home. You know what? This is the best smell I've ever smelled in my life. This is what we're going to do with laundry. Oh. See you at Walmart. No one. If you want to freshen your bed, all the curtains and stuff. I love this shit. And this is why you need a woman in the RV. I would never have thought. If it was just me and Louis in here, it stink like probably arse cracks stink, right away. stink worse than I. Louis just broke the air conditioner. What? <laughs> it's always me. I'm so sick well, of it. Well, it wasn't me. I tried to turn it on and it doesn't turn on. Well, wow. Look, we have the, the generator is on. Okay. Hold on. Level test. Maybe that's that black thing, whatever that means. Uh, I don't know what gray is either. Like. Okay, hold on. Shit. What? Was that you? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Hell investigates how Louis broke the air conditioner and how I shall fix it. <laughs> this is awesome. It's gonna be <laughs> me who fixes it. It's what? probably it's gonna be you who fix it. You got it? No, I... Don't worry, about just... I'm gonna... I'll have a different solution. Turn off roof air conditioner before starting generator. All right, turn it off. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Yeah, turn it off. All right. Okay. Let the generator off. Now ramp it up. Wait, 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 wait. Now should I turn it on? Ooh. All the way. No? Nothing. Fuck, oh, I broke the air conditioner somehow. Hold don't on. You... No, I don't, I don't feel... I haven't used it today. I feel nothing. Well, that's gonna suck. It gets colder, so this is the hottest place. We... Okay. We've... Oh my god. It worked yesterday. I'm so glad that I... Well, there's only one person here who can possibly even have a chance at fixing it, you know. <laughs> and it's not me and it's not you. <laughs> okay, less filming, more air conditioner fixing. What is that? Oh, get me more. Oh, this right here is the... It's the... Robbie Tussin honey. Cough and chest congestion. As you can hear by Nick's reaction, this, this shit's the good stuff. This hits different, honestly. Oh, I need... I need... Oh, Maybe I should try one if it's that good. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Let me try one just for fun. <sighs> sure. Huh? I'll rack you up. Okay. Hang on, bro. Get that in you. No. Jesus Christ, it burns. <laughs> it's not that bad. She's being pussy. <laughs> oh, it's all red. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, okay. It's the aftertaste. Smells great. There you go. Yeah. It's nothing. 
has a bit of a kick to it, but Literally. I mean, it's, it's not amazing. No. I would well, choose to drink Also it. not horrible. No, it it's really is horrible. Lewis have good taste in music. Unlike that pesky Brit Simon Wilson. We have arrived at the something called Coyote. Hmm. Where have you taken us? Coyote alone. And is it safe here? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Oh. This doesn't bode well. Do you know where we are? Uh, no. Some, uh, oh, to see. We're in the Grand something. Canyon. We're yeah, in the yeah, Grand but, Canyon. Woohoo! The town just before that. <laughs> Hold on, let me look this up here. It's, it's basically the Grand Canyon, but there's a town just before it. So ah, we are okay. We're in Tusayan. That's it, Tusayan. Oh, hopefully. All right, I have a question for you. How cold do you think it will be here at 5 a.m. tonight? So right now it's 31 degrees. What do you think it's going to be at 5 a.m.? 22. 20. Oh, three. Three f degrees. Sorry, oh. what? <laughs> yeah, three Let's degrees. Let's go back to fing Phoenix. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Where have you taken us? The okay, office, run, the run in and office, see. Yeah. It's already closed. Well, there's a the shocker. Uh, <laughs> it looks like there's plenty yeah, of space here. Yeah, so much space. Hopefully. Plenty of space. Let's see if we All can right. find somebody who can help Good us Good driving. Oh, Good is. driving. Excellent. Oh. Oh. I don't know how she does this My because eyes. I'm basically up here, passed out. And you're not driving either. No, I'm not doing shit. And uh, uh, yeah, somehow we always end up at a nice parking lot. Yeah, we don't really need to hook up if they haven't got a hook up tonight, do we? No, no. No, we don't. Yeah, go, go, go. Car that? keys. People, get them. He's got car keys and a top. He could also not work here, Looks like he works here. Let's go to the office. Whoa. Ah, yeah, you're right. The law requires all parties to register. Hmm. Yeah, it is closed. Okay. Well, they, we couldn't even book. Hold on, hold on. Available sites for tonight. 50 amp, they're sold out, sold out. We don't need electricity in sewer. No, we just electric and water, no sewer. Yeah. <coughs> we can just take one of these. <coughs> yeah, 246, or 247, or 251. Maybe we just... So I guess we just go there, and then we pay the next day. Yeah, let's try that. Can you remember that? 246, 247, or 251. Yeah. So we just wipe the 246 off now because we're here or what? Wow. Please take a photo of your license plate and bring it with you to register your site. Well. Bring it to who? Let's wipe it out then. Let's wipe out what? Wipe out 246 and we'll just take it or 251, whatever. Okay. 246, remember two four that now. Six. 246. Two four six. Let's go and park. Alright. We're just going to go and park. There's the steakhouse. Yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> right, Look that? at this. Looks like an old Western. We're just, we're just gonna go take two four, Western style okay, steakhouse. Oh, Guess there will be another ribeye tonight. Comes here, they're gonna take that one too. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it's not the envelope. It's on oh. the whiteboard. We just wiped it off. Mm. So let's just park in two four six. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna read and make sure that that's like not. Yeah, yeah, that's Let me see. What number is it? Two four six. There we go. Just go. Straight over there. Yeah, that's the that side. Straight through here. Again, I don't know if I said this on camera before, but listen, I don't know how Nick is driving and not passing out. 248. There we go, 248. And there's 247 on the corner and then 246 next. Yeah. How are we going to open we do. There we go. Oh, we're actually next to the other Cruise America. It's a small one, no? Cheap bastards. Wait, where's the 26? There's 245. There's 247. Oh, so it must be this side. Is it that side? Well, there's 248. 246 must be there, then. No, that's 251. What? Huh? Drive a We'll see it. It'll be here or there. There's 249. Could it be that one? So these are e uneven, these are, oh no, that's... Oh, 246 is in the, in the next row over. The one behind ah. us? I, well, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, because there was no one there now, was there? No. Just drive through here then, we'll see. We're right now on this side, uh, on this row. Okay. We need to go oh. one over to 246. Yes! Huh? There's uh, oh, wow, cool. deers over there. Elf? This looks like a deer. 
Same as and so we drove past the gas station just as we turned, and they have this. Uh, yeah, I think it's a deer just running around. That is cool. Two, four, that? six. There we go. Two, four, six. That's yeah. Oh, so it's one and. Ah, I see. I'm gonna. Should we back? You wanna back in? Oh. Time to freshen up before we hit the restaurant for a little nighttime snack. Now we already met the, the neighbors and they've been uh, telling us what to do tomorrow for the Grand Canyon and how to uh, how to fix the um, man I really am messed up I shouldn't be talking I'll shut up let me just show you what uh, the restrooms and wow there's a speed limit in the in the in the shower at five miles per hour all right I'll go slow I know you guys want to see what this uh, looks like hold on men as far as I know I'm still a man I see. So you got a. What kind of coins do you need? Ah. You gotta go to the office. Uh, I see, but the office is closed. Oh, uh, it is. You gotta come at the midnight. It's from you or something like that. Ah, uh, no shower for me then. Uh, <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, you gotta go. It's not easy trying to live in parking lots. Oh man. So I was in there kind of, as the man next to me told me, you need tokens. So I guess no shower for me. No. You need tokens. You need tokens. And tokens you gotta buy at the office. The office is closed. Why is so. it 20 inch night? All right, no to self or no to uh, RV parking lot dwellers. Never run out of tokens or I think it's 25 cent coins they use. Everything goes wrong now. Last update here, it's gonna be an early night. We're all so knackered. We were ab able to empty the water tank and the stink tank, there's two. It was quite the operation, I didn't vlog that. I was also now able to hook into the electricity supply um, uh, the water supply so we can now shower and so on uh, we're now just gonna sit and drink and, and maybe have some nachos play some uno or something outside with, uh, with the neighbors not really gonna blog that I don't always yeah some sometimes it's good to be off camera Harold as opposed to on camera Geraldo so see you guys tomorrow um, I don't know what adventures will take place but needless to say I'll think of something Geraldo is in recovery mode. I couldn't end the video like that. I'm feeling better though. Been sleeping all day and it's time for breakfast. I've been on an epic whopper adventure. A whopper hunt, some would say. I got a double whopper for me and a double whopper for Louis. Now, I think he's recovered too. I think Nick's also on the path to recovery. So, let's... Go in and have commence whooper party. All right. Well, it's just kind of mosquitoes coming in. Bye. It is whooper o'clock. Woohoo! Is Nick here? Oh man. One whooper for Zemoa. 
And one woofer for Mr. Lewis. Oh man. Lewis, why aren't you eating your Whopper? I knew it! Knew what? The Democrats are putting soy in the water! And turning the fing electorate blue! Ah! I'm sick of this shit! What? What? What the f? Hey, Lewis! Lewis, come back! Lewis! Lewis! See, my legs are shaking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> body telling you you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, my body is right. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. We have left the Whopper Canyon. We are now in Horseshoe Bend. Yeah. And Lewis says that he can't walk very far because he's covered in blisters. I'm more blister than man. How do you feel after the trek yesterday? Good. Destroyed? Good? No, pretty good for now. Wow, oh, I'm yes. so impressed with these two because I think I'm the one that uh, that trek took the biggest toll on. And I didn't expect that. Yeah. You know, very unexpected. All right, take water. This is the hottest environment I've been in since I arrived in America. How many degrees was it? 42. So we don't really know what to expect here because I reckon we just did the ultimate trek yesterday in the Whopper Canyon. But what's your first impression here now? We can we can almost see it. Uh, it's okay. This looks pretty unique too. Yeah. I think so far on this, the state of Arizona is a state I didn't really know much about. I just thought of it as a desert that borders Mexico. But I must say this is... Uh, the place I visited that surprised me the most in the whole world on the upside actually it's been it's been absolutely unreal mm -hmm. in terms of scenery in terms of food yeah the only thing that's been a disappointment and I was a major disappointment so you know Flagstaff Walmart shame on you you are not a superstore you don't even deserve to call yourself a Walmart yeah. oh scathing yes the, other, the, other, the smaller Flagstaff Walmart was way better exactly yeah, yeah. and, and they had a superior title. parking lot as well oh yeah. they do yeah fantastic parking lot well, here we get, we're coming up on it right now. And you know what? This also looks effing amazing. Effing yeah. amazing. Yeah. I won't lie to oh, you. It's it not looks that far, it's I'm going to film from the get go here. I have not been down here to see this thing yet. I'm just going to roll tape as we venture closer and. <laughs> Holy yes! <laughs> yeah, it looks crazy. <laughs> yep, I really thought I wasn't going to be wowed, but uh, I am. And we are on the iPhone from the exact same spot. Wow. So it's actually way cooler in person than in, in the photos. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that at all. Right, 
let's do a little parallel investigate around the bend here let's go back to the sony because it's easier not to uh, not to uh, slip on the sony Let's go a little further. Let's go up on that rock right there. This morning, I was basically ready to recommend just driving because this was a little detour as opposed to um, given the route we've chosen to, to drive through Utah. This was a bit of a detour, at least an hour and a half, and then an hour and a half back to the road we want to be on. And I was ready to say, listen, we did the canyon, we did the Devil's Bridge. How, how exciting can this, this one-off tourist attraction be? Because you don't really have to hike here, you just park your car up there and then you walk down here. But I, am, I was so wrong, I am so happy we came here and I'm gonna, I don't know what kind of video this is. So I'm probably, I'm probably signing off from the Horseshoe Bend in Northern Arizona, in the Navajo Nation. I think I'm still in the Navajo Nation. Geraldo is signing off. Guess who's back? It's Geraldo. I figured I'd try and capture these boats coming through here on this little Sony camera. You can see I found a nice little cliff here that you can sit on without really putting uh, yeah without really risking too much. I mean you can have your you can have your uh, well if you want to be dumb I mean you can stand up like this or if you want to play it safe you can sit down like this. I think I'm going to sit down because you know Geraldo is all about safety first. Hold on, am I filming? Yes, I am. I was just saying on my I did some iPhone footage just then and. I'm just trying to imagine if it's more beautiful from down there being on those boats and driving through this horseshoe bend or up here. I don't know, just seeing the patterns they create in the water, the white color, the green algae, the red cliffs, the blue sky. I'm gonna have to say it's probably more beautiful from up here. This is the... I don't think I've ever seen anything as beautiful as this right here in nature. But okay, uh, I'm gonna have to catch up. We have a long drive ahead of us. Well, don't fall. Grab your water. Polluters must die. Let's go back then. Can come here, kayak through this horse shape another day. So from Horseshoe Bend, maybe I am making a video today, I don't know. By the way, we started the day at Burger King. I guess I could have vlogged that. We have driven through the Navajo Nation and lo and behold, there was no McDonald's there, but there was a Burger King. So my last meal was um, a double Whopper with bacon and cheese. I filmed that one and then the only meal I've had today was another Whopper, a double one with cheese. No bacon this time, you know, too many calories isn't good for you at my age. So maybe, I, maybe I'll vlog a couple of meals and actually we do have a video from today. We'll see. Home sweet home. I can hear they're already cranking the generator. Our aircon doesn't really don't really work though. We'll, we'll see. See how hard it is inside. I can see Blue is sitting there playing cards. Oh. How cool was that? Yeah, very cool. Sounds fucking hot. Woo! I can't get over how hot I was. We survived. 
There's no way we could have done that track yesterday oh, in this heat. Hell no. That no. was awful, like what? What's the plan? McDonald's? Why? I don't know. Yo, McDonald's? What else are we gonna eat? You need to eat again? Okay, let's Even play. The reserves. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig into the Whopper reserves. Okay, see you guys when you right. see me. Nuggets coming up. Yeah. This is the Dr. Pepper. Right. And these are the these are the federal nugget reserves. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Federal nugget <laughs> Thank you. So so here's the thing. Thank you so much for the advice, guys. Yeah. So am I filming? Yeah. The thing about McDonald's. Okay. So in yes, the federal nugget reserves. <laughs> You've been talking about these nuggets for the past oh, seven days, nuggets. hating on our double whoppers. Yeah. So we decided to try Nick's favorite meal, which is chicken McNuggets. Yeah. And we decided to, yeah, I asked well, how many nuggets, what's your biggest nugget box? And she said 40. I said, we're having 40. Anyway, I just want to say, I just want to launch a complaint with uh, whoever runs McDonald's in this country. Ronald. Because, okay, Ronald, if you're listening, the American Ronald, why is it that you close your restaurants for walk-ins and you don't accept RVs through your drive-thru when we walk up to the to the uh, to try and order here by foot through the drive-thru they say hey you're not in a vehicle I say I don't have a motor vehicle that fits through your drive-thru and they say well touche uh, now luckily here we we met some staff out back here at the former entrance and they were they will say okay we'll take your order but at the other McDonald's close to to the to the Whopper Canyon they told us no you actually you can't order because you cannot walk through the drive-thru and your car is too big for the drive-thru so I said that's ridiculous don't you just want to sell burgers and they said uh, well a rule is a rule it's for your safety so uh, yeah we haven't had McDonald's in a while anyway let's see what this what these nugget nuggets are all about then yeah yeah nugs Whew. are we gonna crank on the generator uh yeah I don't yeah. know if it's gonna make any difference all right generator no, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, oh. I'm so glad I saved my marinara from Burger King. Oh, so close. Oh. Oh, don't you guys wish you had metal straws now? Lou broke the. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ah, oh, hold on. No. Too loud for filming. <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 one minute. <laughs> hey, stop making fun of my Norse accent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, don't you wish you had. Oh, so excited for this. Ch chicken McNugget review coming up. We're gonna dip McDonald's nuggets in Burger King sauce. What is this eating? <laughs> ah, so tasty. <laughs> the grand reveal. Oh, maybe I should dress like a king. Just to show my, to pledge oh, my allegiance. Just four boxes of ten nuggets. Yeah, I know you bigger boxes. <laughs> really? That's all she did? Uh, I made you 20 boxes. By the way, I'm know. still, I'm still on, on Team Burger King. I'm only eating this in protest because I've been hearing about these nuggets for the past seven days. Uh -huh. I don't know where any of that sauce is on. They're at the bottom. Oh, are they? Are we gonna have these fries too? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Mackie's fries are just better than the Burger King ones too, aren't they? All right. I love my Renaro sauce then. <laughs> what do we got? Okay, some sweet and sour for me. Oh, hell yeah. Are you trying to sweet and sour? Oh, here we go. Here's your your barbecue. Oh, here's ketchup. Okay. Oh, what's happened to this one? And we have more back here. That was good chalky sauce, son. Chalky sauce. Bit of chalky sauce. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's check out the sweet and sour ideology. Yeah, no. Did you try the sweet and sour? Oh, that's good shit. It's very good. Mmm. It's it? what um. Oh yeah. When I eat Chinese food, I usually order. Sweet and sour. Oh, yeah, I like uh, sweet and sour. It'd be like orange yeah. chicken, I guess. I mean, it's like that. Oh, look at this. This is great. Wheat and soy. Wow.
We're running low on soy. Jesus, no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not having... I shouldn't have said that. He's not into the sweet I don't want to vote Labour next election. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dose is low. You'll be fine. Low dose of soy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Democrat juice. In moderation, soy is not bad. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have one of these nuggets oh, they were for you guys on cam. Yeah, I think we should go for it. Maybe we try and do a mm. cycling tour then of this, of this mm. Bryce... Um, mm. You know what? Cool. I've always been like, who the fuck gets sweet and sour sauce with Mackey's? But actually, it's me. Fine. Oh, you tried it? Mmm. All right. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she talks to the to the nice lady who works for Google, who's been directing us through these canyons. Yeah. The nice lady who works for Google. Get a yeah. Bit. Get a real job, <laughs> just, just on the phone to her. <laughs> okay, let's try these nuggets then. Mm. No, I'm intrigued. I mean, lots of sauce just smelling. I'm very impressed so far. It's more chickeny. It's more crispy. Burger King ones are always soggy. Harold approves of McDonald's yeah, nuggets. They're very good. Well done. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going back to Burger King tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, signing off. guys hear that? It's the sound of the, the roads that run through the, the Navajo Nation. We don't even don't even try to play music because we can't hear anything. Anyway, we should be crossing the state border from Arizona to Utah. Anytime now. Probably another five minutes left of sunlight. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> we're there I think yet. so. Alright. What does it say here? To the, I don't say to the border, does it? You just went past the sign and said five miles. I think we're like, yeah, like uh, 10 minutes less. Go 10 minutes to the border. Let's. Go out and take some photos. Yep. The state border sign. Welcome to Utah. I wonder I what the slogan of Utah is. What I do you hope, think it is? I hope there is a big sign. Yeah, oh, there for is. sure. No beer, no boobs, no freedom, probably. <laughs> no beer, no boobs. Okay, so Nick thinks that Utah's state slogan is no beer, no boobs, and... No freedom. And no freedom. All right. Interesting. What's your guess? <laughs> Mormons and mountains. Okay. I'm thinking... Wow, you put me on the spot there. Even though I'm the one filming. <laughs> I'm thinking it's uh, Utah. The land of the Romneys. Land of the Romneys. Yeah. All right. Should see the sign any minute. Probably have another five minutes of sunlight. Get some photos in. Probably be good outside with it. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Ah, oh. Jesus! Why are you doing that? Just leave the potholes and take it together. Can't even take selfies on these roads. I think the sign is up there. Oh, that's it, I think. Yeah. You got it. Hey, you have Lou's Rona. Oh, got it. Damn it, Lou. That's Ebola, actually. <laughs> I'll have you know. I procured it myself. Oh, yeah, there's man. the sign. That's the parking. There better be a little parking space for us to pull over. I was going to park on grass. There's no one behind us. Yeah, but. Yeah. Take us like 10 minutes. Oh, so what is the state slogan? Let's see. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's our first state line crossing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in a car, yeah. It's easier flying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. It says Utah. Oh, there's literally a big welcome to Utah sign. Ah, oh, nice one. Thing. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm sure, I assume that loads of people take photos here. Yeah. yeah. So there must be on every road then. Pretty exciting. In my head, I was trying to work out how they would get a sign, like how you, everyone finds the sign. In my head, it was literally across the whole borderline. Just this big, massive Utah sign. I didn't even think about it. When you said, oh, yeah, it's probably on every road, I went, 
Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Because <laughs> in my head I was like, yeah. Oh, like it stretches ah. around every <laughs> single road. <laughs> so what is their slogan? Uh, life elevated. All right. Who, who was closest? Well, me, I think. Probably you. I said <laughs> mountains. <laughs> I said Mormons and mountains. Gonna, you did. This is I what. Did. This life is what elevated. This is what hazards are for, right? Yeah. So you can take pictures next to the Utah signs. Yeah. I'm like not. Let's run out and get our selfies. I just don't want to go down. That Wow, just in a nick of time. Nick, you got the keys? Yeah. The very minute that the sun decides to set upon the Utah-Arizona border, we have arrived. What's that in meters? <sighs> Lots. <laughs> so we're pretty high up still then. Yeah, oh yeah, 5,000 foot above sea level is pretty high. Hmm, I wonder what that is, maybe 3,000 meters? I'd look it up, but there's still no signal here. Oh, wait. Well, we're getting internet as we're at work. So all day driving from the Whopper Canyon, we've been without Wi-Fi, uh, internet, cell phone, cell phone service even. But do you have service here now in Utah? Or, if you can call it that. Here we go, that's 1,524 meters. Do you have service? Yeah, I do. No way. Yeah, I got internet connection. Utah for the win. I love this state. Oh, me too. South on US 191, south <laughs> All right, how far are we? Route 5058. Stupid bitch, I'm trying to get a picture. <laughs> Can I be in the future? Yeah. I still, don't, I still don't have any cell service. So you know what? I take back what I said about yay Utah. For me, it is Boo, Utah. Verizon doesn't offer service here. Oh, no. No. Well. Anyway, happy to see a new state. Arizona was just beyond all expectations, as I said earlier in the video. It's quiet. Never been surprised on the upside like that of any place I visited ever. So, uh, hopefully Utah will be a similar story. Signing off. I'm going to sign off from Utah. Whoa, and we are in Utah. See you guys. Signing off. Bye. Bye bye. It's been emotional. See you, man. <laughs> See you. I think they're going to stay in Arizona. I just don't see no river. No. So, Unless it's we've entered Utah and we're still in the Navajo Nation. But there's supposed to be a river that borders. Um, that um, maybe it's here. So once you're crossing this river, then you're out of the Navajo Nation. Even though we already entered uh, the Navajo Nation, stretches across Arizona and Utah and even uh, New Mexico, I think, and Colorado. Maybe this is it. I'll slow down so we can see. It's still there. Yeah. It's raining. Have a look at the map. Oh, this, signal. Yeah, this got to be it. Or. Told you. No. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a dry river. Yeah, that would, this is it though. That's a complete yeah. opposite yeah. to what a river should be. You, you're not dry. impressed with this river? <laughs> a riverless How water. You? Oh, oh, there we go, a waterless ah, river. Woohoo! Oh, there we go. There we go, we are leaving the Navajo Nation. There's water, I'm okay. surprised. May we please have our cell reception back, Verizon okay. and AT&T. Yeah. Okay, we're out of, do we have, do we have cell reception? <laughs> Let's check. So well, no, <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, 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 oh. 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 immediately. <laughs> Straight away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Utah. Hell yeah. The state of the Romneys. All right, let's continue then. Yeah, so if you're wondering where we're going, the thing is, every day we set out in the direction of something, we don't actually know where we are going, where we're going to sleep, where we're going to stop. We're just going to wing it. Uh, we are going to drive through, the plan is to drive through Utah and then enter Colorado anyway. Do you want to do the Mexican map, it's here. What's that? Do you want to do the Mexican map, it's here. It's not here. No, it's like the turn into here. Oh, but it's quite far away from here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we actually do not know, no, it's okay. We actually do not know where we're going to post up our European asses for the night. But if there's a Walmart parking lot, I'm going to vote for that. If there is somewhere with Wi-Fi, 
<laughs> Louis is gonna vote for that. Vote for that. <laughs> if there is summer with a shower, yeah. well, yeah. that's gonna be your vote. I want a shower. Alright. The Walmart parking lot has all three of them. <laughs> I vote for Walmart parking lot. It probably has all three. Walmart parking lot is the real deal, the whole full package. We are setting up shop for the night. Outside, 7-Eleven, actually 7-Eleven runs an RB park. So you go in there, you pay, and then out back here, you can park your RV. Now, this is the first stop we've done in uh, Utah. And for, so far I can, I can gather as much. They really love the, the second here, so I got some supplies. For um, I got a gift for for Lewis. He's a big Second Amendment advocate. Not that not that I'm not as well, but uh, here we go. We were just in there before, and he, he saw this one, and he said he was going to get that one tomorrow. He'll be happy. And then uh, I must also say that Utah, I believe, is a very safe city. As I'm walking past these two cop cars now, uh, you can hear they both have their engine running. And it's too dark for you guys, so you're not going to be able to see it, but each of these cars have shotguns in between the front seats uh, with, the car, with the engine running. I just assume, I'm not going to check that, that if that door is open or not, but uh, <laughs> quite possibly it is. So that just goes to show, I think, if, if the cops leave their, their car open with shotguns in between the, uh, the front seats and engine running, I, I, I assume there would be a lot of uh, cop car, car, can't even talk. <laughs> cop car jackings. I don't even know if I can speak one language at this stage. Anyway, it's dark. You guys probably can't see shit. I'm gonna go to the RV. We just hooked it up, so we have electricity, we have water, and then I think tomorrow we're just gonna go straight to Colorado. There is an epic restaurant run by a congresswoman that uh, I would love to visit and have a, a burger in. And uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. We might set up shop in that town uh, for a night as well before we continue the road trip. So here is the, whoops, here is the, the car. And I guess, it is good night from Geraldo. Signing off. Ooh. I got you a gift. Huh. Oh, what magic. How do I close this? Magic procurement, have you? Huh. Bloody hell, you are flush getting Fiji water. Jesus, that's huh. water of the gods. What are you talking about? Fiji water. It's water. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's Here. Oh, water. thank you. <laughs> The wa water of the gods? Yeah, Fiji water, water is like what fucking Instagram models get. Hold on, let me vlog this. I just entered the RV here, minding my own business. And I'm accused of being at one with the gods. What did you say again? Instagram models drink Fiji Apparently water. Instagram models drink Fiji water. It's the water of the gods. Drink out a tap like the rest of us. Hey, I'm a Fiji water man, okay? Give a Northman a break. I'm signing off before I get... <laughs> More insults, vicious insults thrown in my direction. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yep, still here. I know a lot of you want to see all the facilities. There we go, the current code. Ooh, what's this? A timer. Well, there we go, I don't need more than 15 minutes. Ooh! Now this is high class. Super high class. Compared to the, the trashy. Well, but do we have running water? Harold investigates. Does the water run? It doesn't. Am I doing something wrong? Restrooms are closed for cleaning. Hold on. Does that mean there are no water in the shower too?
Nope. We have water. It'll do. Most scenic vlog spot of all time. Actually, that dude over there has a more scenic spot. How dare he? <laughs> <laughs> 